So in this video, I'm gonna help you scale your Facebook ads up to and above that milestone number of £1,000 per day or $1,000 per day. Running Facebook ads in the beginning, in those testing stages, that's always your first step is to run the test, which is basically where you put your ads out to lots of different audiences with lots of different creatives, see what comes back, where the purchases come from. And then the hardest point or the sticking point a lot of people kind of get stuck at and um, find it difficult to overcome, I do sometimes even now, is building upon that. So when you kind of seeing those sales trickle in but they're really inconsistent then building on that and taking it from say 50 100 pounds per day all the way up to a consistent flow of customers and sales up to and above a thousand pounds per day so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you in this video i've got three awesome tips which i truly believe can help you get to that point and really help you get your business off the ground taking fully advantage of this period in which we're coming into at the weekend which is of course q4 before we jump into this then just a little bit of proof so you can see that i do know what i'm talking Talking about and I have actually achieved this milestone myself. Um, so on screen now is the store in which I started in September. You can see yesterday we did a little bit over $1,500. So I am based in the UK. However, I am drop shipping to the US. I have a couple of different businesses which go to different countries. Perhaps I could do a video about that in fact um, some point in the future. And then if I just show you this one as well, you can see that we are indeed consistently hitting that benchmark. So it's not just kind of like a one day wonder. We are able to do that day in, day out. With that being said, then let's take a look at it number one which is going to be focusing on your breakdowns so essentially what the breakdowns do is they allow you to see exactly where the data or where the interest i should say is coming from within a particular ad set super important if you want to take your ad account to that next level super important if you want to scale your campaigns up profitably so let's jump into the computer take a look at this particular ad set i've got highlighted here and we can see that different age breakdowns or age ranges i should say on the left hand side so 13 to 17 18 to 24 so on and so forth so the reason why this is super super valuable if you want to scale your ad account is because facebook whole performance a whole algorithm is based on how well people react to your ad set so it's kind of like a vicious circle in a sense that a, a, a well performing ad set will perform even better where a poor performing ad set will perform even badly so basically when you're running an ad set facebook will judge your ad set based on three different things if you want more information or i could do a video on it it's called total value basically facebook takes into account three different things and it makes a judgment on how good your ad set is or how well suited it is for your audience um, how well interested they're in the actual creative how much they engage how many people click on it so on and so forth so the reason why breakdowns are super super important is because it avoids you spending money on those demographics which aren't interested in your ad and therefore will hinder the performance of them so for example if we take a look at this particular ad set we've got the amount spent here which is important because this will tell us what age ranges Facebook has spent X amount on. So we can see 13 to 17 has spent four cents, 25 to 34 is spent $250, and then 65 plus is spent $1,300. Now, the reason why this is interesting and why I've picked this as an example, because this is actually an adjustment I need to make to this particular ad set myself. To judge where the most interest is coming from, we need to look at percentages. So we don't just wanna look at link clicks because obviously the more money you spend somewhere the more clicks it's going to get we need to look at how cheaply those clicks again because then it's how cost effective is that particular age range so the two kind of most important um, pieces of information which i'm looking at in an ad set is always cost per link click because that's how much has been spent divided by the amount of clicks so it's basically how cost effective it is to achieve clicks in that age range and then the next important piece of information is the link click through rate which is another percentage because then it gives you a better understanding of how interested that audience is in your ad set and basically the higher the number the better and the reason why i picked this ad set and i wanted to show you because there is an adjustment which i need to make personally to this ad set so as it currently stands facebook is spending money on all of these age ranges up to kind of 54 but what we can see is as the audience gets older more money is being spent, but also the results become more efficient and they get cheaper. So the clicks are getting cheaper. We can see 88 cents, higher age range, 86 cents, and then even higher age range, 71 cents. The same is true for the link click-through rate as well. So 1.36%, 1.69%, and 2.37%. 
So taking all of these numbers into account, then the age demographic of 65 plus is definitely the most cost effective because I'm getting the cheapest clicks from there and I'm also having a more highly interested audience because there's a higher percentage of people who are seeing the ad from this age demographic and actually clicking through. So what I need to do to make this ad set even more profitable and even more cost effective is I need to change the age ranges. Now everybody's kind of ballpark figures is going to be different because it's going to depend on things like what kind of niche you're targeting, how much profit margin you have in your product. Um, but a rough kind of ballpark to aim for is with a link click through rate of kind of like 1.5% and above and then a cost per link click of, to be honest, I usually work on anything better than a pound is pretty good. So these kind of four oldest age ranges are pretty good, but there is kind of like a dramatic jump up from the 45 to 54 age range. So what I would do in this instance is I would remove anybody younger than this and just focus on 45 plus. And so how this can help you is if you start to spend your budget in the most profitable places, your ad will become more efficient, they'll become more profitable, and in turn that will translate into more sales. Tip number two is to use automated rules inside your Facebook ad account. Not a lot of people know these exist, but if you're living a busy lifestyle and you don't have time to look at your ad account every single day for an hour or so, especially in the beginning, because it's really important to spend as much time as possible to try and get your head around the numbers um, and understand what they mean, then this is where rules can become um, really valuable. So basically what a rule is, is you can set certain criteria tell Facebook when to apply this to an ad set and how to apply it to an ad set. So on screen now is an example of a particular rule. I'll take you through this and what it means and then I'll show you a quick example of how to set it up inside your ad account. So from top to bottom, this is a rule that's going to apply to all active ad sets. The action is to increase the daily budget by 20%. That's not a random number. So you may have seen what's called a learning phase um, for some of your ad sets and basically it's Facebook is learning um, who your ideal person is to target within the audience parameters that you've set. And if you make any significant changes to an ad set, then what it can do is reset that learning phase. And what I've found that anywhere sort of up to 20% um, doesn't knock it out of that learning phase and therefore doesn't affect the optimization of it. So as a, as a rough rule of thumb, I wouldn't go any higher than 20% each time. The maximum daily budget cap, so that's basically it will keep increasing the budget of that ad set up to um, $6,000. The action frequency is once weekly and it will apply this rule if an ad set meets, meets, meets all of the following criteria. So this is lifetime impressions of over 8,000. This is important because once an ad set has, has hit that many people, then it's gonna be pretty bedded in, it's gonna be pretty settled in, and you're gonna have a, a pretty good idea of the potential of that ad set. An ad set that's only reached, say, 100 people um, is, is not a good test to run, basically. It's not enough people to gather enough information to understand whether you've got a good creative going to the right audience or not. Purchases need to be over zero. Again, until you've got a couple of purchases going through a particular ad set, it's not a good test to run. And the cost of purchase must be under $10. And then that way you can make sure that you're scaling the most profitable ad sets. It doesn't have to be $10 though. So this is completely um, relative to you and your product. If you have enough room for say $20, set it for $20. So with that being said, let's take a look at a quick example. So same place inside your ads manager. I'm gonna click this rules button here and then click create new rule. Ignore the bottom two for this video. We're gonna focus on custom rule and then hit next. And then it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest. So I'm gonna whiz through this pretty quickly. You can set a rule name. So it could be um, ink budget 20%. Apply rule to one ad set. I've got one ad set selected, so it gives me that option. Um, we could set it to all active ad sets, whatever you prefer. Um, if you want to kind of set a blanket statement, then we'll go for all active ad sets. The action will be to increase the daily budget. There's so many different um, actions you can set here, but for this video for scaling, we're going to be focusing on the daily budget. Um, the maximum daily budget cap, I'm going to set it to $1,000, so it won't spend more than $1,000 a day. And we're going to action this once every day. We don't want to be increasing the budget too frequently, or again, it can reset that learning phase. As for the conditions, this is where we can set the criteria of the ad sets we want the rule applying to. So we can hit the plus sign. We can go for cost per result is smaller than 
um, $20 and we can add that in. We can also impact ad sets in many different ways. So if we click on actions, we can actually turn ad sets off. So this can be handy for as soon as an ad set becomes unprofitable, we can switch it off. However, I don't like to do this because the results, especially on smaller budgets, if you're spending less than sort of like $100 a day, your results each day can fluctuate quite a lot day to day. Um, so if you do become too kind of trigger happy with switching ad sets on and off, um, then you don't really give it enough time to see its full potential. So I'd probably just stay away from that for now. In fact, just stick to um, increasing budgets. Time range is maximum today, yesterday, or last two days. So if you hover over the eye, we'll give you a breakdown for all of these things. But as it says there, this is the time range in which it's gonna consider the data um, inside of this criteria. So if you want it to make a judgment of an ad set based on the last kind of 24 hours data go for yesterday if you want it for maximum go for maximum so basically what this will do is if an ad set's been running for six weeks as soon as that cost per result goes below $20 then it will start to increase that budget we can do it continuously daily or custom and then we can also set a notification just so we can keep a track on every time a rule has been applied to a particular ad set as for tip number three, this is duplicating your successful and profitable ad sets into a CBO campaign. So I'm not going to take you through this one on the computer because it's quite extensive. It's quite a high risk strategy as well. Perhaps I could do it in a separate video if you'd want to see that. So I'm just going to talk you through how it works, the logic behind it. And then if you want to give it a go, feel free to go out there and give it a go or leave a comment down below and I can do a video demonstrating how it works in real time. So have you ever ran ad sets in the past, duplicated them and then the performance has been really bad? But then on the flip side, you've duplicated ad sets in the past and the performance has been really good. It's really difficult to, there seems to be kind of like no rhyme or reason to which ones will perform well, which ones won't. So instead of say duplicating five ad sets at $100 and spending $500 a day and taking that risk of which ones won't perform and which ones will, then what you do is you duplicate them all into a CBO campaign, set the CBO budget at $100, $200, $300, whatever you wanna do. And then every two days kind of break the results down per each ad set, switch off the ones which aren't profitable. And then basically what this will do is it will leave the profitable ones running and they'll also get that $500 ad spend spent on the most profitable ones that are actually working. And like I said, this can be quite high risk because it does involve bigger budgets, but if you wanna get your ad account up to the bigger numbers, then in my experience, this has been by far the best way to do it. You can of course do it with smaller budgets too. So you can start with a CBO campaign, which has say $50 a day budget what i would recommend is doing at least three ad sets in the cbo campaign if not five as a minimum and then that way you just give facebook enough of a chance to test the audience enough times to find the kind of areas or segments the ad sets which actually work and the ad sets that don't and like i said every couple of days just knock off switch off those unprofitable ones and then in the end you'll be left with the most profitable ad sets which are getting the majority of the budget and it's just a great way to scale and add account up so super quickly and super profitably as well. And so with that being said then guys, there's my top three tips for scaling an ad account to up to and above a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars per day. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you did and I'll see you in the next one.